Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that when they were thankless and they were ungrateful and they failed to acknowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, then they were punished. And in this part, the last part of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning three punishments. Three punishments that the people of Bani Israel were given on account of their four behaviors. Three punishments because of four behaviors of Bani Israel. The three punishments were, they were covered with humiliation. Number two, they were, they were, they were subjected to poverty and they were, they returned with the wrath and with the anger and with the curse of Allah. And the three reasons which have been explained in the verse for these three punishments are that they disbelieved in the signs of Allah, in the signs, in the orders and in the verses of Allah. What did they do? Yakfuruna bi ayatillahi. Ayatillah means what? The signs of Allah, the orders of Allah, and the verses of Allah. They disbelieved, they were disobedient. And then they were killing the prophets of Allah. And they disobeyed Allah and the orders of Allah. And they were in the habit of transgressing, that they were transgressors. They disbelieved and they failed to obey the orders. That is when they when they made a covenant with Allah to obey the Ten Commandments where Hazrat Musa salam was given. Then they they broke the covenant of Allah and they disobeyed, they, they did disobeyed Allah. And they killed the prophets like they killed Hazrat Zakriya alayhi salam. Hazrat Zakriya alayhi salam, they they made a false allegation. The people of Bani Israel, they made a false allegation on Hazrat Zakriya alayhi salam for illicit relationships with Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam, na'uzu billah. And then he was stoned to death by them. Astaghfirullah Rabbi. And Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam, they killed Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam and it was it was on the asking of the king by his by his uh, one of his girlfriends a prostitute woman who was a dancing girl also the king was just fond of him and he was the girl was just his beloved and when hazrat yahya he talked against illicit and eagle illegal relationships and he condemned immoral relationships and adultery so she was offended and it was on the birthday of the king that she asked the king to behead Hazrat Yahya now the billah and present her with his head as a gift and she said that then only will she dance for him on his birthday so, as a demand of the Prophet being killed, the king killed Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam. He ordered Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam to be beheaded, na'uzubillah. And this was all done to please the girlfriend of the king. And moreover, they also, the people of Bani Israel, they also attempted and they planned to kill Hazrat Musa and to crucify Hazrat Isa alayhi salam also. And they disobeyed Allah and they they were transgressors from the norms. So these four mannerisms led to the three punishments. So if any nation, any group of people, any family or any society is going to commit these four these four behaviors, then the family or the community will be sub subjected to these three torments of Allah. Now, if we analyze the, the Muslim Ummah 
and the people of Pakistan, we as a country, we are being humiliated. The Muslim Ummah and all the Muslim states, they are in a state of economic crisis, especially Pakistan is in a state of total economic crisis. The reason is the disbelief, the disobedience and the transgression of the Muslim Ummah. Allahumma ghfir lana wa lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat Allahumma alif bayna qulubihim wa aslih zata baynihim wa ansurhum ala aduvika wa aduvihim Allahumma la'anil kafarata allazina yusudduna an sabilik wa yuqadzibuna rusulik wa yuqatiluna awliyaak اللهم خالف بين كلمتهم وزلزل أقدامهم وأنزل بهم بأسك الذي لا تردوه عن القوم المجرمين آمين سمامين